Dolly's got her nervous now. <laughs> Well, Buttercup's doing great. She, the halter breaking part is pretty much done. She does great with, with stopping and going and turning. And she likes to rub up against us when we're walking, pushing on you a little bit, but that's, that's not really a big deal. The only, only other problem we have with her is she still don't like when we walk up to her. She's a little bit skittish, which is funny because once we have the rope, she's, she's totally, Fine. She's gentle. She loves getting rubbed and touched and petted, and she's just uh, she's just that animal nature in them, I guess. She's a little bit skittish of us coming up, so we have to lure her with food, which is not a big deal. We plan on <clears throat> when she has her calf and we start milking her, we're going to pin her up at night in the corral, so we'll just feed her in there and bring her in there, and then it'll be easy to just go in there and get her relieved rope and lead her into the milking parlor. So. Next thing on our to-do list, the little calf here. He's been doing great. We've had him for two weeks now. He's finally drinking his milk out of a bucket, eating feed and drinking water, eating grass, as he should. So he's, he's finally gotten over his sickness that he had. He's doing really good. So we're gonna go ahead and band him today, turn him into a steer. It's gonna be interesting because he's a lot older than he would have been when, if we were born on the farm. If he was born here, we would have banded him, you know, a few days older or a week old at the most. But <laughs> he's now about four or five weeks old, and he's got a lot of energy. So <clears throat> it's gonna be gonna be interesting. What do you think, little buddy? What's up, bud? You looking good? He's definitely not as skinny as he was, and his eyes are not running, oozing, whatever they were oozing before. We ended up giving him another shot of antibiotics, and uh, he's, he's doing great now. I'm gonna do two, because that's what I normally do on a bigger animal. To make sure one doesn't get away. Sounds good. It's going to be easy to lay him down, so. Oh, he's king. Yeah. <laughs> he's going to have to come here, bud. See if you can get Mama what she's doing here. Make sure they're both in there. I'm just making sure his nuts are in there. There's one. There's two. For sure. For sure. Hold that leg tight now, because if he kicks, you need to Now, the problem is, I don't know if you can do this one handed and hold him. Well, I can, uh, here. Here, here. Let me let me do it. Uh, but you gotta wait and let me get him through. Here. She don't wanna lose him. You don't have to grab him and pull him through. Yeah, no, I just don't wanna lose him as I grab him. Oh, hold on, I just lost one. Okay, so you're gonna need to come back. Hold on, let me just make sure I got him both. Holding. Okay. Alright. Go ahead and lay him down. Yep. Got them both? Mm-hmm. Did they roll them off? Yeah. There we go. One. Weird angle at first. 
sure. <laughs> This leg down. It's okay, buddy. You're okay, Bubba. No. You've had a rough couple of weeks, haven't you? I'm not. Oh. It's okay, buddy. It's all right. Go ahead. I'll hold him while y'all can get out. All right, buddy. Well, that went super easy. I wasn't expecting him to be in favor of laying down like that. <laughs> I thought we were going to have to do it with him standing and I was going to keep his head, the head and neck between my legs and try to straddle and hold both legs for her to get in there. But he laid right down so that made it a lot easier on us. <laughs> Next thing we're going to do is we need, we need this hoop coop for our meat birds. It's time for them to come out on pasture. So I went and bought two more cow panels and we're going to make just a little bit bigger of a hutch for him. You used to, when we were growing up, my dad always made them out of just one cow panel. You'd loop it around and tie the two ends together to make a circle. And that's what we would use for a hutch for the little babies. He's, he's used to being out on pasture already. And then we had him cooped up in this. He's fine with this size. I would, I'd hate to put him in something even smaller though, since he's used to being out in something bigger. So we did two and we're gonna make it a little bit bigger than normal and bring it out and put him in that and then we can move this out and put the meat chickens in it. We're going to overlap it just about a foot or so like that two squares and we'll tie this together and then we'll loop it around in a u-shape to the door open it let him in and then we'll tie that off Sit it down. We're gonna pull it, pull it up that way. Perfect. Okay, come on the, uh, come around, buddy, and hold it from the outside. You got it. Okay. All right, we'll loop this around. Put it right up. Perfect. All right, let me hop in. Right there's good. Got it? Hold that door if you would too, please. All right, buddy. Come on, we got some cool new views out here. Hold on to it good now, because if he comes out, he may he may run and hit the uh, panel. Hit the whole panel. We don't want him to get out. Catching him wouldn't be fun. All right, buddy. Hey, come on out here. He's a good boy. Here, let's go out this way, okay? Let's go out this way. You upset with me still? I'm sorry. You can go out that way. You can go out that way. Yeah. Here. Come on out 
this way, okay? Hey. There you go. That's where you need to go. Come on. Come on. Okay, we can do it the hard way then. Hard way, hard way works. Nope. Hey, there you go. All right. You're not much for the easy way, are you, buddy? All right, we'll see. We may have to tweak this. Um, go. You go with your end first. It's all right, bud. Hey, hey, hey. Don't start. Don't be scared. All right, so I got some of these cap nails for doing roof dry-ins. But I'm going to try to use some screws so we're not freaking him out with the loud banging. We'll see how that works. I believe a drywall screw is the most universal screw that there is available. They work on just about everything. Okay. Well, it's not going to win any beauty contests, but it'll uh, give him some shade in there. What do you think, buddy? Now you can see all directions. Not sure about that too much yet. All right, I'm going to turn this sideways, okay? Hey, bud, hold on. You're going to run into the hutch. You can't push. These little guys are going out to pasture today. They got big quick. Now over here, we had to put in a temporary partition. This is our next batch of laying hens, barred rocks, that we just got yesterday. And they needed the light. And these little guys do not need the light anymore.
careful. Like that, buddy. Sure, it's on flat ground, okay. It don't matter if that's on flat ground. Good to go. Well, it is about lunchtime. I think we're going to wrap this video up and go in and have some lunch. Thank y'all so much for watching. We'll see you next time.